What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. <clears throat> I'm back at uh, Estero River. Been dying to come back here since uh, my first trip. Uh, caught a good amount of bass, including a nice, must have been anywhere from five to seven pounds, and missed and got me snagged and wrapped up. So today is uh, redemption time. Uh, the water's a little murky because we've gotten a lot of rain. But now that I kind of know what I'm doing here, know where to go, uh, know what to do, hopefully I will get on a good bite and uh, get you guys some, some cool footage. Because I know I got some good eats. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I got a couple of really good eats just watching these fish just come up and blast the shiners. I'm fishing with shiners again today. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's very difficult to fish this, this river any other way than live bait. Um, it's very clear you can't really cast or throw with any uh, casting equipment as you can see there's no real room to do any casting so it's very tight quarter so throwing a little live bait might be the, the easiest way to catch some fish so I got a couple hours just decided to get out here and uh, try to get on some fish so I'm gonna get to the spot and I'll see you in a minute <laughs> can't get away from mangrove snappers anywhere. So I thought they were cichlids, but I guess they're just mangrove snappers. You believe it? All right, something's got it. Come on, there's a little bass and he didn't even have the hook in his mouth. He just had the fish. I could see the fish in the little bass. It was tiny bass like this big so it's like you want to let them swallow it but at the same time there's so much debris and snags in here i don't want to let them take it into the debris i don't even know how i caught any fish last time honestly it's so frustrating the shiners just swim straight into cover and there's so much debris and cover in this river i have no idea like i seriously maybe that was the thing with the clear water last time like i said it's all dirty because of the rain maybe because the water was clear the bass could see it right away and just pounce on it before it got wrapped up because this is just every cast the shiner's getting wrapped up on a stick or leaves or twigs or all this other crap that's down here so it's very frustrating all right i know it's not huge but I needed to catch a fish. Little guy. But hey, that's okay. That was cool. Oh my God. Oh, look at this fish. Oh my God. I hope you guys saw that. That's a huge fish. There was like four of them down there. course because I cannot get any leverage I just missed that giant bass watched him eat it could not get any leverage because I'm in a stupid broke my hook off so there was like three or four bass chasing it shiner got nervous and then while I'm watching these two smaller ones this big female she was like at least three or four pounds I just watched her come up and eat it I hope I filmed yeah, she broke my hook off. I got 15 pound braid on, but there's no leverage on this kayak. Ready? That was quick. Good fish, good fish. I don't know if this is the one I just sight casted, but what a gorgeous fish. Another very heavy specimen. Uh, probably only two and a half pounds. Maybe not quite three, but, but what a gorgeous fish.
There's one. Good fish. Oh, it's the big girl. It's the big girl. All right, there we go, baby. Now that's a beautiful fish right there. Probably only a three, but what a gorgeous fish. All right, y'all ready for this? Found a little little bass hole over here. So, you ready? It's gonna be quick. Gonna be quick. Remember, bass spawn for months and months, and they spawn in different phases, you know, different sized fish. And they don't all spawn at once. So get ready. So get ready. Oh, let it go. Told you. Told you. you just keep the stupid uh, kayak under control. Here's the thing, this is a fishing kayak, it's got fishing poles for poles, but they do not design these for fishing. They really don't. It's like, they're not designed for the angler. I would love to see an actual kayak that's designed for the, like, to be a very efficient for fishing. Efficient. Efficient. Fun little dude. Thank you. Well, I had something. This looks like a good spot for a big fish, so I'm gonna keep it rolling. I do want to save one shiner for the trip home in case I run into that big jack again. Ready? Are you ready? Yep, yeah, there he is. Oh, big fish. See that? I don't know if he's still... Yeah. All right, it's not the one. No, it's still pretty cool. Come on, dude. Little baby. I can almost guarantee you that there's a fish over here. There's like four or five nice bass over here. Of course, little fish wrapped in a tree. All right, so there was a bunch of bass, one good one, and the baby got it, of course. She got a whole shad in that little bass mouth. All right, well, I think that's it. I think my last shiner is probably dead. Oh, I had a, oh, there's a, there's a big bass right there. I was just about to say, it's hard to kind of find the fish over here, but I just saw a big bass swim by, so maybe I can get into my, but my shiner's like literally. Oh. I just had the, my, it would have been my last bass of the day. Oh, there he is too. I can see the, <laughs> it was a decent fish. He just uh, took the shiner right off the hook. Oh yes, yeah, this is a great spot right here. I gotta come back here soon because this is such a great spot. It's loaded with fish. And when you're shiner fishing, man, it's just a blast. I literally just sight casted this, this bass. It was a good size too. And, uh, just took the shiner right off. 
Anyway, that was super cool. One last shiner, would have been one last fish. He grabbed it. I kind of side cast him. I just saw the tail swimming through the shiner over and then wham. Oh, there's, oh, this is probably him right behind me. I don't know if you can see that. Good female and uh, whatever this thing is, some sort of a, uh, maybe it's a tilapia or something. Some sort of cichlid type thing. Look at that sucker. Weird, huh? Everywhere. But yeah, the, yeah this might be the same bass because what I noticed is there's a lot of bass sort of patrolling territory. Maybe there's fry in the water or whatever. Um, so yeah, that would have, I think that's probably the same bass. Nothing huge, a pound and a half maybe, um, but a fun fight. So yeah, that was cool. Yeah, so it's been a cool day. Like I said, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the notifications button, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Uh, my video from last night is gonna be cool. And uh, this is gonna be a great video too because I was able to catch some good sized bass. And uh, I'm gonna be hitting the spot again tonight for salt water. Like I said, I am cranking out the videos right now. As long as I'm getting quality fish or something exciting is happening, I'm gonna be uh, posting videos. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow.